Hey guys, what is up? This is GameNet321, and welcome to my gun review slash gameplay of the SA-805 from Call of Duty Ghost. Uh, this weapon is an assault rifle. Um, it's unlocked, I think, straight away when the game, uh, when you start with multiplayer. I'm not sure if you have to actually use squad points to unlock it, but I think you already have it unlocked. But if you don't have it unlocked, then I'm sure it doesn't have, um, it doesn't, uh, I'm sure it doesn't cost that many squad points. But, um, let's get started here. Uh, the description of the weapon says it's fully automatic, next generation, modular weapon that is strong and versatile overall. And I can go ahead and tell you that that is 100% true. Uh, it's fully automatic, I can tell you that. Um, the actual weapon is strong and it's versatile all overall. And I'm not gonna lie, this weapon is very 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 versatile I mean I can kill people long range not a problem at all even if you have a silencer thus it reducing the range and all that other stuff and you know decreasing the damage because of the range and all that other stuff it's still pretty decent you can still get your bullets on target and you can still get the kills pretty quickly from a long distance from a short to medium range is pretty average you know like three four shots maybe up close but um, far range, four to five shots, and if you're on target, you can get the kill, and it's very easy to, uh, for this gun to get long range. Um, it's very good for beginners, so if you're a beginner Call of Duty player, or if you're just starting out, um, Call of Duty Ghost, I highly, highly, highly recommend you use the a at the SA-805, it's kind of a tongue twister. I, I honestly think it's actually better than the SC-2010, simply because, um, if you compare the two, uh, Sure, the SC2010 has slightly better accuracy than the SA805, but it's just slightly. Um, the SA805 has more damage, more range, and a higher fire rate. Uh, and like I said before, it rapes at like long distance, and it's actually really good. I highly suggest you use a red dot sight and a silencer. You don't even need a grip on this thing. You don't even use the use the uh, the muzzle brake to extend the range. Just use a silencer and a red dot sight and you'll stay off the radar, and with the red dot sight, you'll actually stay on target, helping you get the kills better, faster, with the uh, red dot sight at longer range. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I use this gun a lot. It's really, really good. Like I said before, if you're a beginner Call of Duty player, I highly recommend you actually uh, use this weapon. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll go ahead and continue the gameplay, and peace. SATCOM Okay, I'm going to 
Oh, that's the latest thing. Seen it. It, it has a lot of recoil, but it's reduced recoil for the first three rounds, which is really good because this gun kills in like three shots up close. And I'm telling you, it rates in close range, and it's actually pretty good. Um, I suggest using a red dot. Well, not a red dot really, because the iron types are pretty good themselves, but I suggest using the grip for like the 